Hello viewers, for DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be showing you how to remove and clean the integrated power distribution fuse box module under the hood. Over time, being exposed to moisture and with age, the fuse box can develop corrosion which leads to many different electrical problems. I'll also be including a giveaway thanks to Keg Laboratories towards the end of the video, so be sure to keep watching for those details. A link to these products used here will be included in the video description. Considering we're working with the electrical system, the first thing we need to do is disconnect the battery. Disconnecting the negative terminal is only required. A 10mm wrench or socket and ratchet is used. First is removing the main power supply on the outside of the fuse box. This is held on by a 14mm nut. Inspect the connection for any corrosion, as this can be a known area. Now to flip up the fuse box, this is fairly easy to work with. Using a small pry tool, you'll have to unclip two snap clips, one on each side. Use the pry tool to pull out the tabs. The fuse box has a hinge at the bottom. Pull the top out towards the engine. Once flipped up and the back side is exposed, using the small pry tool, you'll need to push the red clip forward and this will allow you to flip up the white levers to remove each of the electrical connectors. Everything is color coded and a specific size, so there's no worries about mixing anything up. Start from the top and slowly work your way down to the bottom. For the connectors on the side, there is a tab which needs to be depressed, then pulling the connection straight off. When done, then lift out the fuse box. Here's a view of the backside once everything is removed. As you can see, there is color coded blocks which references to the connectors. Next is opening up the fuse box. It's best to take photos using either your phone or a camera so you have a reference when putting everything back together. The owner's manual can also be used to determine fuse locations. Now as removing all the fuses, pliers can be used, just make sure you don't damage them. Next is removing the 5 T20 Torx screws. Flip the assembly over to help those screws fall out of their location. Work on a solid surface to reduce the chance of losing any components. Using a standard screwdriver, pry around the outer edge to disconnect the clips and help the inner cap off. Take your time, it can wedge up, preventing the opposite side from disconnecting. Once out, here you can see the clips. These snap clips go around the circuit board, which is why it's a little harder to disconnect. After that is removing the circuit board using a standard screwdriver. Pry the main power supply terminal out and then lift out the circuit board. Don't pry on the circuit board as you can crack or chip it. You can also assist it out by pressing the plugs on the back side of the assembly. And here's a view of the circuit board. Inspect for any corrosion, first is cleaning with a brush. For this I'm using Deoxit's Gold Kit. It comes with cleaning tools, corrosion remover, and protectant. First using the supplied round brush, clean the terminals of any debris. On the terminals which are still enclosed in the plastic casing, use Deoxit's D5 spray. This will dissolve any corrosion depending on the severity, you may need more than one application. The thinner solution allows for flushing action to get into those tight spaces. As for the exposed terminals, back to Deoxid's Gold Kit using the D100L and the supplied brush applied to the rest of the terminals. Again, if there is any extreme corrosion, more than one application may be needed. Let it sit for a period of time, clean away the corrosion and apply more as needed. This gets applied to both terminals for the fuses and electrical connectors. Mine were fairly clean other than one broken terminal which I'll show you in a moment. When done, wipe off the access solution using the cloths supplied with the Deoxid Gold Kit. When everything is finalized, apply a layer of G100L to the terminals as a layer of protection. After that, assemble and reverse the removal. Install the circuit board back into the bottom portion of the case. Take your time and make sure those terminals are aligned with their holes. Next is installing the cover. Snap it back into place. Again, to make sure those terminals are aligned with their holes, don't bend or break any of them. Install the torque screws and tighten. Don't over tighten them as this is only plastic. And finally install the fuses. Their orientation doesn't matter, however, make sure they're in the correct locations. Going back over to the truck, spray each of the electrical connectors with Deoxid's D5 solution. This will flush out any dirt and corrosion. If corrosion is excessive, more than one application may be needed. The D100L, 
D5 and G100L solutions help remove any dirt and corrosion, will improve conductivity, reduces intermediate connections, and provides a layer of protection. Use a clean rag to catch any of the dripping fluid when spraying each of the connections. Then allow it to sit for a couple hours so the solution dries. Here is where I have a broken terminal. This fuse box appears to be a generic model used across all RAM models, so not all circuits are used. The pin that was broken was for a feature which wasn't equipped on this truck, so it doesn't affect anything. I was able to determine this by referencing the wiring diagram from the repair manual for this truck. Each of the pinouts can be identified using the number from the plug, color from the plug, and color of wire. If you run into a broken pin and it's used on your truck, thanks to one of my subscribers, they have informed me that you can purchase replacement parts. The old pin would be desoldered and removed, then solder in a new pin terminal. If you're unable to do this yourself, someone who does electrical work should be able to repair this, and it'll be a much cheaper route than buying a used or new replacement fuse box module. Next is installing the module and reverse of removal, starting from the bottom and working your way up, plug in all the connections. As mentioned earlier, each of these plugs have a specific size and they're color coded, which makes the assembly fairly easy. Finally, clip in the base, then snap the module back into place. While my main power terminal was clean, these can corrode too, so I applied some of Deoxit's battery cleaner and protectant as preventative maintenance. Then install the terminal and tighten. For the battery, the terminals were also cleaned and I applied battery cleaner and protectant to the terminals. I do have a separate video for this if you're seeking more information, then install and tighten the terminals. As for the giveaway, in order to enter, you must be located in the US due to shipping policies. One winner will be picked one week from today, and they will receive a can of Deoxit's D5 cleaner. In order to enter, follow the link in the video description and more details will be there. New videos released every week on my channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, it's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.